Yo guys, what is up? It's Dave, the Obscanter here. So, Android Beam. It sounds like it would be something found in a Star trek -y geeky movie, like, Let me be my stuff to you! <laughs> and Wendell's for the win. But realistically, it's not. It's something that is found in all high-end Android devices, and what it does is essentially a feature that allows you to share files by touching or bumping the phones right next to each other. So, what makes it different from an application such as uh, Bump? Android Beam uses a technology called NFC, Near Field Communication, which is low-powered and it's kind of like a mini Bluetooth thing like that. Now what's cool about Android Beam is probably one of the most revolutionary things to come to Android, yet not a lot of people know about it. So with that, let's take a look at this awesome feature and let's get this started. Open source gangster, hey! Okay, so the first thing a lot of people are going to ask is, does my device have Android Beam? Now let me just say, if you're running a recent Galaxy or Droid or HT device, then you most likely have Android Beam. However, of course, I'll show you there is a way to check it. So to check to see if you have Android Beam, what you want to do is go to your settings of your device, then go down to more settings, and see something called NFC. In the case of an HTC device, you go down to more, and Android Beam. So like I said, if you're running a recent device, a recent high-end device, you most likely have NFC. Now, a quick note, I know a lot of people want to ask, what's the difference between S-Beam and Android Beam? Well, S-Beam is essentially Android Beam on steroids. S-Beam allows you to do a little more than Android Beam, such as send photos, I believe, and other content that you really can't do with Android Beam. However, S-Beam only works with other Galaxy S3 devices. So that pretty just much, that pretty much just sucks. Alright, so now let's start in Beam stuff. So, like I said, Android Beam works in a variety of Google-related content, such as Gmail, uh, the internet, YouTube, etc. So, let's open up a link and start with there. Now, hopefully, I hope I'm on an appropriate site. Okay, thank God. Oh, got me nervous. Didn't check my link before I opened it. Alright, so I'm on XDA Developers. So, here's how you do this. Now, I was doing this the other day with my friend, and it really looks stupid, what we were trying to do, but hey, it's kind of cool. So you hold up one phone that you want to beam. We have this phone. You take your other phone, and then you hit, you touch the backs. When you touch it, touch it, you hear a sound and a vibration as it's touched the beam. So you touch it. Okay. And now I go onto this device. And oh my god, is this magic? No, it's not. It's Android Beam. Next, let's try beaming YouTube links. Alright, so I'm at the YouTube app right now, and let's just say, you know, you're hanging out with friends and you really want to be in one of my great videos. I doubt it, but let's say you want to do that. What we can do is open up the video. Alright, let's pause that. Then on this device, what we're going to do is once again connect. Touch the beam. And wow, look at this. On this phone, my video is coming up and it's about to play. So Android Beam works in the YouTube app, and it also works in uh, Maps as well. Uh, and I mean, it works really everywhere. I mean, any Google-related app, it works in. So this is pretty much self-explanatory. I'm sure you get the hint by now how it works and everything else. Like I said, it's really decent. This works on most high-end Android devices, and it's just a cool feature just to play around with and impress you know your iPhone friends and stuff. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, and tune in for another Galaxy video. Thanks.